Tonight, police say DNA evidence has linked a murder suspect in South Florida to multiple killings in Daytona Beach. Yeah, we told you earlier today, authorities in Palm Beach County arrested Robert Hayes for the March 2016 death of a 32-year-old woman. Now investigators credit new technology for allowing them to link Hayes to more local cold cases. News 6's Troy Campbell joins us now in the newsroom with details on that technology. Troy? Well, Matt, Lisa, Governor DeSantis says the genetic genealogy program that was created less than a year ago specifically to solve cold case crimes just like this one. Now, the governor tonight, he's applauding those efforts, saying those special investigators are providing justice for the victims' families. It was a team effort to get closure for, this families, for these families and get this killer off the streets. Daytona Beach Police Chief Craig Capri announcing the arrest of 37-year-old Bethune-Cookman criminal justice graduate Robert Hayes for the murder of a 32-year-old woman from West Palm Beach three years ago. However, because of the Florida Department of Law Enforcement's newly established genetic genealogy program, DNA evidence has linked Hayes to the deaths of 45-year-old Laquita Gunther in 2005 and 34-year-old Julie Green in 2006 in Daytona Beach. Investigators say forensic evidence also connects Hayes to the murder of 34-year-old Iwana Patton, seen here in these photos from her family tonight. People may think, what were they doing over the 10 years? They were doing everything they could humanly possibly do, following every lead that they could. Daytona Beach detectives are also looking into the possibility that Hayes may be a suspect in the death of 30-year-old Stacy Gage more than a decade ago. Gunther's friend relieved by the news of an arrest 15 years after the murder. When I found out, I walked outside and looked up in the sky and I said, we got him, baby. We got him. Daytona Beach police say they did interview Hayes more than a decade ago, but at the time they didn't have enough evidence to connect him to the murders. Now, Governor DeSantis says he will support the growth of the state's genetic genealogy program to continue to solve cold cases just like these. Live in the newsroom tonight, Troy Campbell getting results. News 6. Troy, thank you. New at 11.